question 16. So we need to work out the surface area of the pyramid. So basically, that's going to be, so we've got a square, 20, 20. And then we've got four triangles. Okay, so we're going to have a little times four. Now, what do we know about those triangles at the moment? Well, we know that the base of the triangle is 20. But what we don't know is we don't know the height of that triangle. So really, the question is, what's the height of that triangle? Now, we know this one here, so that's that's 400. So it's just worth just putting anything obvious before you actually really get into the question. So the real question is, what's this height just here? So let's try and get into, into that there. Now, in order to be able to work that out, I actually need to know this line just here, VA. And what I'm going to imagine, I'm going to try and see through this here, looking into sort of inside our pyramid. Now, I'm going to look at that part just in there. So let's have a little think about how we're going to get this out, this VA part. So it's a good idea maybe just to draw a few little sub diagram. So let's write on what we know. Well, we know this angle in here. It tells me that's 55 degrees. But wait a minute, I don't know any other length. I need to know another length. So now I'm actually going to need to go and think, well, what have we got just here? So we're going to use bit of Pythagoras. There's all sorts going on in this question. So that measurement there will be 10. To the center, it's also 10. So 100 plus 100. So this diagonal measurement here is 200 rooted. So that's this figure over here, this root 200. OK, you could write that, right, that is 10 root 2 if you want to. OK, doesn't matter too much at the moment. Right. Now we've got enough information to work out this length over here. So it's just basic Sokotoa. So we've got the opposite side. We've got the adjacent side. And we've got the hypotenuse. Now I'm going to work out actually this length just here. Now that's like the central pole of the pyramid. So that's this line just here. So I've got opposite side, adjacent side. So using my so ka toa, that's just toa, isn't it? It's looking at the opposite and the adjacent. So what can we say? We can say that tan 55 is equal to the thing that I'm trying to work out, the opposite side over root 200. So that side I want, let's call that x if you like. All right, let's put a little x there. And that's going to equal root 200 times tan 55. Now, I'm actually just going to leave it like that for a second. Um, if you want to you want to work it out and store it in your calculator, obviously you can do, okay? But we've got that length there. Now remember, what I'm really interested in is I need this length here. I need to look at this triangle here. I need this length across here. That's the length that corresponds to the height that we're actually interested in. And again, it's a right angle triangle. So again, so let's just sketch what we've just worked out. So we know this this bottom part there, that's simply 10. And we know this length just here. So that's root 200 times tan 55. So now we can work out this side, just using Pythagoras. So this side squared plus this side, and then square root. And if you do that, you should get it's 
and a little bit. Now this is like the essential part of the question. Remember, that's the actual height of the triangle. So I now need to do 4 times, so we're going to have, because remember we've got 4 of the triangles. So we're going to have 4 times 20 times this. Remember it's half the base, isn't it? So it's actually going to be 10 times this times the 4. So let's just quickly write that down, just make sure I didn't, probably didn't say that very well. So we've got 4 times, so half times the base times that 22.5, whatever it was. And if you work that out, that then comes to, um, so it's going to be 225-ish, and then we're going to multiply that by 4, and then add your 400 from the area of the square. And then the overall answer, yeah, rounded it slightly, should be 1,300 centimetres squared. And that's two significant figures.